I now have the great privilege of introducing the Lord Lieutenant Representative, Admiral Sir Philip Jones, who's going to bring us uh, an additional reading to the fact that's in the programme. Uh, and it's of significance because it was found by a member of the Gosport community just this week. Thank you, Sir Philip. <coughs> The extraordinary document of which I have a copy here was signed by General Bernard Montgomery, the Commander-in-Chief of 21st Army Group, and it was to be read to all troops who were about to take part in D-Day. It was agreed in the days beforehand, but he signed it personally in red ink and dated it only on the 5th of June at Southwark House, just over Portsdown Hill, where the commanders in chief were all gathering. Only then did they know that D-Day would take place the next day. The message reads, the time has come to deal the enemy a terrific blow in Western Europe. The blow will be struck by the combined sea, land and air forces of the Allies together constituting one great allied team under the supreme command of General Eisenhower. On the eve of this great adventure, I send my best wishes to every soldier in the allied team. To us is given the honor of striking a blow for freedom, which will live in history. And in the better days that lie ahead, men will speak with pride of our doings. We have a great and a righteous cause. Let us pray that the Lord, mighty in battle, will go forth with our armies, and that his special providence will aid us in the struggle. I want every soldier to know that I have complete confidence in the successful outcome of the operations that we are now about to begin. With stout hearts and with enthusiasm for the contest, let us go forward to victory. And as we enter the battle, let us recall the words of a famous soldier spoken many years ago. He either fears his fate too much, or his deserts are small, who dare not put it to the touch to win or lose it all. Good luck to each one of you, and good hunting on the mainland of Europe. <laughs> 